Welcome to today's Freedom Journey devotional. I'm Dr. Kyle Bailey, and I'm excited to share with you on the question today, what does it mean to be born again? Have you heard that phrase tossed around uh, in terms of Christian lingo? Uh, even in the sphere of politics, it's used to describe a certain uh, block of voters, that is, the born-again Christians. Uh, and, uh, and today I want to share with you where this whole idea of being born again originated, and uh, that's in the book of John, chapter 3. And uh, Jesus said in verse 5, he said, I tell you the truth, no one can enter the kingdom of God unless he is born again, unless he's born of both water and the Spirit. And it's a very interesting statement uh, that Jesus made because when he made it, it confused the man that he was having the conversation with. He was having a conversation with a man named Nicodemus. And Nicodemus said, well, can I enter into my mother's womb again and, 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 and be born again? And Jesus basically was trying to convey this idea that we're all born physically once. But in order to enter God's kingdom, we have to be born spiritually. And it, it really is rooted in the idea of the spiritual death of humanity as a result of the sin uh, of Adam and Eve, and then the all generations uh, proceeding from there, that we've all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God, and as a result, we have uh, become spiritually dead. And so in order to enter God's kingdom, we must be born of the Spirit. That is, we need to be uh, have a nature change. That is, God's kingdom is a kingdom in which the, the standards are too high for us to meet, the qualities are too difficult for us to understand in our own natural mind, we need to be given the Spirit of God to have the power to walk in a new way of living. That's called kingdom living. A kingdom is, is a sphere in which a king rep, uh, uh, exercises authority. And if we want to be able to live underneath the kingship of Jesus Christ and be effective stewards of that which he gives to us to oversee and to be entrusted with, we've got to have a brand new nature because our human nature is too flawed and too fallen to be able uh, to achieve God's ultimate purpose. Now, does being born again mean that we're not going to sin? Absolutely not because the Bible addresses Christians who were born again, who had received the gift of the Holy Spirit, stating that if they sinned, they had an advocate before the Father, Jesus Christ, uh, the one who has, who has made us right with God by his blood. And there are going to be times where along the road of living for Jesus, we are going to sin. And, and it, it happens every day. And when we do that, we just need to bring that to the Lord and allow him to grow us in this new precious, powerful Holy Spirit who lives in us. And so learning to live by the Holy Spirit, to be born again, is a day-by-day -day, uh, uh, a task. It's, a, it's an adventure. It's a, it's a learning experience where we, uh, we deny the old nature, which the Bible uh, 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 presents to us in the, the concept of the flesh, and we begin to live by the new nature, which is the Spirit of God living in us. We've been born again. We are no longer who we used to be. We are new creations in Christ Jesus. And the entire Christian experience is learning to, to identify what that means, to tap into God's power, and to live by His grace every day. So I'm excited this morning that we, had, we got to address that question of what does it mean to be born again. It doesn't mean just taking that label upon yourself that you identify with that group of people and so on and so forth. It means being transformed by the Spirit of God in the deepest place of your heart and then beginning to live a life that is marked by the fruit of the Spirit. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. And so I hope this morning as we've shared on this question
that you'll take that into consideration. Are you living by the fruits of the Spirit? Are you sure that you, you're sure that you have received the gift of God's Holy Spirit? If not this morning, I'd like to invite you to do that in prayer. If you're already a, a born-again Christian, I'd like you to look at yourself and ask yourself, am I yielding to the Holy Spirit of God today, or am I operating in the old self? Am I operating in the old ways? Am I operating in my flesh? And if so, let's just turn to the Lord this morning and recommit to living by the Spirit. Amen? Father, we thank you this morning that you are good, and that you're on your throne, and that you're calling everyone to be born again. Lord, to put away who we used to be, the, the corrupt man of, of the old life. And God, to embrace the new power of your Holy Spirit that causes us to be people of love, of joy, and of peace, of patience, of kindness, of goodness, of self-control, of, 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 of being uh, those who are marked by your presence and your glory and your honor. So, Father, we commit to you this morning. We surrender to you this morning. We ask you to cause us to be filled with the Spirit afresh. Some of us for the very first time, and some of us uh, just being filled once again. We thank you, God, for your faithfulness in, in this regard. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, guys, I look forward to tuning back in with you uh, uh, on Thursday morning with an additional biblical question uh, that will give you some opportunity to reflect on how to continue to live and grow closer to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God bless, and I'll talk to you then.